Hey folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly talk about Hell Divers 2. This is a follow up to my recently released Hell Divers 2 video, and in that video, I recommended the game on a sale, which angered a lot of people, apparently. <laughs> The number of dislikes on that video, it's ridiculous. Um, I guess people can't accept the fact that some people actually get angry when they can't play the game that they paid for. Yeah, I know. It's weird. I mean, I liked the gameplay. I liked the general gameplay flow. I liked the leveling up, the different stratagems. All that's fine. But for the last four days, literally the last four days... I have not been able to play this game. I either get a black screen or I get error servers at capacity. Please try again later. And it's mind boggling that the developers have not fixed this yet. And there are going to be a lot of fanboys. They're going to insist that the developers are in the right here because they didn't, and I'm quoting various sources. The developers didn't foresee the success of this game, so we just have to wait until they get things fixed. Now here's the thing. This game was released as a finished product. It was not released into early access. It was released, at, released as a finished product. So I'm, I'm really curious as to the board meetings that went on behind the scenes at Arrowhead and the publisher PlayStation. I, I, I just want to know, did anyone account for this? Did anyone go, hmm, well, Helldivers 1 was pretty popular. What if what if Helldivers 2 becomes really popular? What then? I, I don't know, whatever. Well, that's exactly what happened here. It's whatever. Because now the developers are scrambling to figure out how to fix this server at capacity issue because they didn't force... That's, that's BS, if you ask me. If you're going to release a game that is dependent on servers so that people can play it, you think you would have reserved enough space to account for, say, you know, an influx of players to the scale of, say, Power World. Pow World had its problems at release because of all the people that wanted to play it. But those problems, they were handled relatively quickly. And I have no problem, to this day, playing Pow World. Yeah, the player base kind of fell off a bit because everyone got to the endgame content, but at least I've never had an issue logging into Pow World once that I sit in a queue, and that lasted for all of 10 seconds. Here, I've been waiting four days to play this game. And... and I'm not even going to call it a queue because it's not a queue. I'm not waiting in a line. Every 30 seconds, the game will just randomly check whether or not I'm actually lucky enough to get in. There is no queue. It's just at the end of 30 seconds, we'll roll the die, and on a, on a D20, you'll get in. Th that's, that's how it is right now. And to make matters worse, there is no AFK system in place. So the people that do get in have been sitting there AFK, like going off getting something to eat, so that they guarantee that they can play whenever they want. So you've got people just sitting there for hours not playing anything on this game, and while they're away doing other things in the real world, other people are trying to actually play this game that they, again, paid for. It's, again, the publisher is PlayStation. This isn't some indie publisher. This is PlayStation. Who in their right mind approved this system? Who in, who in their right mind? I mean, I don't know Arrowhead's work that well. But I know that they've released games prior to this. Did, did anyone think... <laughs> did anyone think to, to include an AFK system in an online game where server capacity is limited? Did anyone? It's ridiculous. It, it's absolutely ridiculous. And we paid $40 for this game. $40 for this game. A game that we can't play. Now I'm hoping that, you know, maybe in a week, I'll be able to possibly play again. I don't know. 
it's funny that the developers released this XP weekend to compensate for their... <laughs> they have a bonus XP weekend, uh, an XP weekend that I can't participate in because I can't log in. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's and, and, and the fanboy response, getting back to that, has been ridiculous. A bunch of people are like, oh, you guys are whining. You, you, you know, be men, grow up. And I have to say... That's BS. That's the stupidest, the stupidest viewpoint I've ever heard. And the reason being, if you ordered food from Uber and the Uber driver delivered, let's say you ordered $40 worth of food from Uber, the, the price of this game, and the Uber driver brought you a napkin and nothing else. So how many people do you think would call Uber to get that handled? Now, let's say you did call and you reported the problem, and now it's been a week. No, let, let's say four days. <laughs> the number of days that I haven't been able to log in because of server capacity issues. It's been four days now. You don't have your money back, and you don't have your food. So, at that point, do we wait patiently for something to happen, or do we make some phone calls and complain like we should? How about... This is to the fanboys. How about growing up and having a little bit of self-respect? Standing up for yourself. You paid $40 for a product that you can't play, and that is acceptable to you? Have some self-respect. Have some self-respect. And as an aside, I tried getting into their Discord to find out what was going on. Oh my god. First of all, it was around Saturday I tried this. It's now Monday. Um, Saturday the 17th of February. And I couldn't log in to Discord. I, their invite link wasn't working. They had frozen invites so that no one else could join Discord. Well, fast forward two days later to today, Monday the 19th. I'm in there. And oh my God, <laughs> it's almost comical. There are three different Helldiver 2 chats, chat rooms and I cannot keep up the amount of people spamming chat, I can't play, and then you've got the fanboys responding to them, and then you've just got the people blaming this on what, I don't know, <laughs> Antifa, whatever. It's just, it, it's, and there's not a moderator in sight. I haven't seen one. No one is moderating this. You've got hundreds, thousands of people spamming this Helldivers 2 Discord amongst three different chat rooms. I can't keep up with it. It's it's absolutely nightmarish. And if 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 again this is Arrowhead Studio and PlayStation. They can't keep a lid on this. I'm having serious doubts about the state of today's gaming industry. You'd think such a, a large title, name, PlayStation, the publisher behind this game, would put their foot down at some point and come in and take charge, moderate, you know, set some, you know, Arrowhead, you need to get on this. Well, I look at their disc. That, that is the current state of Helldivers 2. Just look at that Discord. I'm just saying. So... Uh, Unfortunately, folks, I'm going to have, I, I, my suggestion, suggestion to you is leave a negative review. And I know people are against review bombing. Now, if the review bombing is for something stupid, that's one thing. Or if it's for an early access title that is still actively being worked on, that's one thing. But if this is for a finished product that you can't play and the developers and publishers are dragging their feet, getting this resolved... You have every right to put your foot down and complain. And speak with your wallet. Speak with your wallet. Refund it or leave a negative review. You may not be able to get your money back because you bought the game like Green, from Green Man Gaming, for example, like I did. But, you know, if you did buy it through Steam, you could do a refund. You might get it. Let, hit them where it hurts. Their wallet. Hit them where it hurts. That's that's the primary way they're going to listen. Because if they don't fix it, they're going to lose a lot of money. 
I mean, yeah, they at this point, they've made so much money, they could not fix anything and still be fine. Like, they've made a profit on this game. They don't need to worry about this anymore, in theory. Their reputation will be ruined, but they're pretty much running to the bank laughing at this point. It's a shame. It really is. So, leave a negative review until they get this fixed. And if you can, refund the game. I mean, that ultimately, that decision is yours. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm just telling you what I want. I, I, I'd like to do. If I was able to refund the game, I would. But I did leave a negative review because... I'm sorry, but it's been... Release has been, what, two weeks now? And I haven't been able to play for four days? That is completely unacceptable. It's, it's a real shame. Well, this is Vince. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all next time. Take care.